What up, Logan, Taekwon Crypto. Today I'm gonna show you two ways that you can make your own banner for Twitter or YouTube or your wall, whatever. I'm sure there's a bunch of ways to do it. These are just a couple that I know. Let's get it. Now there's really only two things I need to do this. The first is some software. I'm using the GNU image manipulator program referred to as GIMP. It's an open source alternative to Photoshop. If I owned Photoshop, I'd use that. And the second thing of course is the art itself, but I also need to know the dimensions of the art I'm making. In this case, it's gonna be a YouTube banner for my YouTube channel. So, uh, Let's look for that. And 2048 by 1152 is what we want. So we'll go back in here, start a new one, 2048. 2048 by 1152, and I'm gonna hit okay. So two, the two dialogues you're gonna need for sure are the toolbox and layers. So the first method I'm gonna show you is the super simple hack method where you're just gonna take some art that has similar backgrounds. Let's say I'm gonna use this little orange dude here and then this other orange dude here. Now here's what I mean by layers. I, I put those guys on there and boom, they, they took up the whole space. Two images at 1024 would give us the full width of this deal. So here's a cool GIMP trick. You can take the layer, make sure it's selected, and then go to layer, scale layer. I want the width to be 1024. Boom, done skis. I'm gonna do that to the same other one over here. Layer, scale layer, 1024, scale, boom. Now we're going to take guy number one. We're going to take the toolbox, go to the move tool. And we're going to put this joker all the way over here. Pa, pa, pa. And then I use my arrow to kind of finesse it over. Let's take layer two. Move her over here. Ta, 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 ta. Boom. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to take this little, uh, it's called the color picker tool. Make sure it's set to foreground. Pick the layer I'm working with, the dude on the left, and I'm gonna sample the orange. Boom, that puts the orange here. Now I've got the exact orange for that background. I'm gonna take the bucket fill tool, go to layers, go to the background, and boom, it doesn't look very good. But I can take this guy now, and I can move him down like that. Take the girl like that, and Done. That's the super, super simple generic way to make a banner. I can resize them accordingly. I could take, instead of the two guys, I could take 10 of them, make them all small little squares, put them on the bottom of the layer, color the whole thing orange, and I'm done. But the obvious problem here is, what if you want to use other colors? Well, this takes us to the other method. I forgot to mention this also. The best way to download art from OpenSeas is to click on it, right click, and then save it. But notice how this art is one solid clean color. That's gonna prove important in a minute. All right, so let's keep this layer. Let's take this guy, I'm gonna turn off the background entirely. I'm gonna take the first dude and I'm gonna show you this cool little fuzzy select tool. It looks like a little wand. And the reason it looks like a wand is because it's stinking magic. When I come on this panel and I select anywhere in my layer, what it's going to do is highlight everything that has that same color. And then if I go to edit and clear, it's gone just like that. And you'll notice it's not perfect. I mean, the edges here are still kind of orange, but by and large, it works for what we want to do. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Right, I'm gonna fast forward this next section while I work through this. OK, 
Okay, so the point here again is to have art with transparent backgrounds. And now you can resize each layer and move them around with the uh, scale layer option and the move tool. And then you can put any background you want. So once you have all of your pieces, um, then it's really just trying to figure out how things look. So this guy is uh, maybe maybe we want all these guys smaller, right? So I'm going to take this layer. I'm going to scale this layer down to, uh, let's say, 800 like I did some of the others. And then for simplicity, I'm going to move them all to the bottom since that's where they're, they're, they're cut off here. So again, back to toolbox, back to move, and we'll put this guy right in front. Right? Boom, something like that. Ciao. Um, now we'll take... Uh, the, the robot, we're gonna make her further in the back. I'm gonna do that by actually making her smaller. So we'll take her, make her 600. Bam, oh, wrong one. See that was on the wrong layer. Click here, uh, layer, scale layer, 600, bam. All right, now she's further away because we made her smaller. Go back to toolbox, still on the move tool, bam. Do that here. And then we're gonna make the dude above the lady, and now he's in front. This is what I meant by all art is really about layers. right there i mean that's pretty good drop an orange background on it and we're done if you want to get more fancy with it you could go to something like uh, unsplash.com abstract something like this i don't know whatever let's take this guy um be sure you do give some credit when you do it lucas benjamin oh yeah we're gonna put him on the bottom down here and then we're gonna scale this layer, layer, scale them. And I think it was a 2048 was our width. And it's gonna be, uh, yeah, pretty good. This should still have the height to cover everything, right? There we go, bam. Maybe you wanna do a little gradient. You can put this overlay on here, take this guy, drop its opacity down to like uh, 25. Right now we're adding some uh, some filtering in between the two. Mess with these blend modes. But that's it. I mean, I could go through the rest of this and add the rest of the layers and bounce it and upload it to YouTube, but you get the point. If you take an art piece with a monochrome color, I think that's the right term, then you can just zap it with that magic wand tool, the fuzzy select tool in GIMP. And then it's just resizing and moving things around. Anyway, that's it. Simple way to make a YouTube or Twitter banner. Uh, I'm gonna finish it off here in the outro video. If you wanna keep watching, it's just gonna be fast forwarding. But till next time, hope it helps. Laters. suck after all that work i found out that i was using the wrong banner dimensions so lesson learned anyway be safe out there